more sand that I can get? Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, great. Not you again. Can't you just buzz off to Haka? Can't get past that water, but we're not out of danger yet. Hey, guys. Get out of here, Fido. Alright, so now we can continue on, but the Dahaka can now continue chasing us as well. Move, Prince. Safe. Nah, 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 nah. We've got to find a way to deal with this thing for good. He's getting annoying. Okay, sand portal activated, so let's return to the past. Alright, and that got us a new sand tank as well. You can always use more of those. <coughs> Now we can hold five. Just one more and we can hold the maximum amount of sand tanks. Alrighty, so we're back in the past version of the mechanical tower. So now, let's see if we can't activate the tower from here. Once we get past these traps, of course. Let's go! Oof, just barely made it past that saw blade. What? That was weird. That enemy was glitched in the high heavens there. Waiting for me, boys. Uh, okay then, let's dog. dance. Run while escape is still an option. No, I wanted you to block, not run along the wall. Thank you. Stop it before he gets any further. Sorry, but you're not gonna stop me. Fall back! Send for reinforcement! No, 
reinforcements for you. Down here we're gonna have to wall jump again, but this time downwards. Okay, we're safe. Now here we can use this water to our advantage. water will instantly kill the enemies. <laughs> that floor switch activated the, the floor, floor spikes, and it instantly killed both of them. That was cool. Those sand golem things. Excellent. It seems to be in much better condition this time around. Now, how do I get it working? Okay, we're gonna have to try and keep moving here because that golem's gonna be throwing those exploding dogs at us. a door that we can blow up. Ow. Come on, throw one of those dogs over here. Thank you. I'm not gonna save just yet. Now, remember this room because there's a switch in here. We'll come back here in just a moment. Because on the opposite side is another wall that we can blow up. Yep. That was close. And then I got crushed anyway. And there we go, made it across. And I believe this is life upgrade number six. So that's two thirds of the life upgrades that we found now. Just three more to go. Getting quite a big health bar now, so that's always good. Alright, now let's return to the save fountain. I think I'll actually save now as well.
Alright, so let's lower the switch. Which brings that platform down. Then we're have, gonna have to quickly run across to it. Like so. Get out of here. Alright, so we're gonna have to use the sand golem here, again here. Jump across to this pillar. Holy cow! That was a good throw. We need to lure him into attacking this thing that we're holding on to. Come on. Are you not going to attack me now? What, are you bored of me? Did I break him? Does he not? Oh, now he's attacking me again. That was weird. Perfect. That's what I needed him to do. Now let's get to that ledge behind us. Run across over here. And then to the ladder. Now let's activa activate this lever. Doing that has pushed one of these gears into place. There's two more that we're going to have to push into place as well. I have to run across these things. Very carefully, we're going to have to drop down onto one of these platforms. Ooh. I thought I was going to fall to my death there. Here we have more enemies to fight. Fine. 
I've really got to stop doing that. It's just I didn't want to be on the platform when he tosses a dog at it, because I've had that instantly kill me before. And I didn't want that to happen again. Alright, so that's another stolen pillar that we've raised. We run across over here, then to another ladder. And then another lever to push. There's the second gear in place. Dogs. I've also noticed with the dog dogs, it doesn't really matter how much damage you do to them. It seems it always takes three hits to blow them off, blow them up. First, it's two to set them on fire and then the third hit blows them up if they don't already blow themselves up though that is right and this must be the last lever to pull or push i mean yeah there we go There's a secret here for this window. It leads to a chest. But does it lead to anything else? Not sure about that. Let's leave that be for now. Okay, maybe that is the way I have to go. Never mind, it's not a secret. Drop down here. Across to the other side. Now can we finally get rid of that sand golem? Because it's looking like we can. over here if anything oh wait I remember this area yeah we're back by the safe fountain and where we got our life upgrade Let's just go and head and heal, and then we'll take care of the golem. Alright, you've been annoying me for some time now. So time to get rid of you. Bring it on. Oh. <laughs> well, that was good. Bring it on, and then he just knocks me off the platform. Goodbye to you.
That takes care of the golem, and now we don't have to worry about having exploding dogs thrown at us. Yay. Let's make our way up these gears. run up the wall and jump to the lever. And now we can activate that one. Which should turn on the tower. I believe. Boom! So that got the gears turning. I fear my time runs short. While I rush about activating towers, no doubt the Empress is busy creating the sands. You think? But yes, by doing that, we've opened up the second lock. And now we can reach the hourglass chamber. just need to get there. Alright, we're done in the mechanical tower now, so we can leave. Let's get out of here. Or, you know, just run into the gear, that's cool too. Damn, they're annoying. Right, let's drop down this tapestry. At least with this tower, we can take the express route to get back to get back down. We don't have to go the long way around. interact with that anymore because we already did earlier. Right, so let's get back to the main hall. Got a little bit more sands of time. Not much, but a little. Ooh, another golem waiting for us.
And you're out of there. Goodbye. back up here. This will get us back on track to getting to the main hall. You aren't worth my time. Yeah, pretty much, Prince. We died in like two hits each. Back down the ladder. Ow. Just got my foot sawn in half there. might die there. Thank goodness I didn't. What? Oh, it has learned to find me in the past. Oh crap. I don't have time for this. You uh. Oh man. The Dahaka just claimed that creature as his victim. That was strange. Well, better him than us. Anyway, we still have a task to complete. We need to get to the Empress. We need to stop those sands of time from ever being created. Come on, we're almost there. Made it. So now what? Time is running low. You ready? been thinking kindly now. There is little for you on this island, and there will be less still once I've stood before your mistress. Come with me to Babylon. You'll have a chance to begin a new life, free from the evils of this place. I'm sorry, Prince, but I cannot take you up on your offer. Why? Why well, serve this Empress? Hmm. Anyway, there's a chest here that I missed last time. I wanted to make sure to get it. Doesn't look like there's any other chests. And then we'll save up here.
door isn't the door is indeed open. So we need to get through it. <laughs> 